Okay, um, uh, welcome everybody. Um, I will, I'm going to talk about the outcomes of our summer school three weeks ago. Uh, the summer school was uh, done in, 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 uh, inside our project. It's called DEDUSA. DEDUSA is a cooperative project with uh, our university, Graz, Technical University in Graz and the University of Maribor. It's founded by the European Union. Um, let's start with a little history. As you um, probably know, uh, there were some similar events already the last two years ago in 2010. There was an informal ROS workshop in Koblenz where the people met and uh, worked on the first uh, ROS packages. And last year we um, met also in Koblenz for the first international workshop on, the, on a standard ROS-based um, framework for rescue robots. And th this year we continue this, um, um, this event in Graz. The goal is to develop a standard framework to make it easier for new teams to start in the RoboCup League with packages that are there and they can use for their own robots. Uh, with every, in every workshop we have some training track where we try to learn the people how to use ROS and in special uh, work on the already existing framework. And the overall goal is to put the whole RoboCup League uh, to, uh, to more intelligent and autonomous um, robots. Um, and it works. Um, I think uh, all of you have already heard about the Hector Slam algorithm that it's part of the framework. And I think this group in the right back corner is working with the slam approach with the slam approach and um, in this uh, in our summer school we tried to develop some new new packages for it so here you can see the a photo of the rescue arena of the this year world competition in mexico i think yeah, it's a good example for working software, so um, the maps of it. Okay, what was our program? We divided the program in two tracks um, and the overall topic was autonomous navigation in unstructured environments. So we, fo uh, we focused this topic this year because um, uh, we think that in this area it, uh, there are um, many possible improvements and uh, we had different talks from three lecture uh, we have we had three lecture talks uh, lectures um, Alexander Kleiner from uh, Sweden talked about overall autonomy in navigation of robots uh, Armin Holmuk from Germany talked about his Octomap uh, 3D representation of uh, the environment. We um, invited Simon Lacroix from France that gives us an introduction to advanced path planning technologies in 3D environments. Then in the track one, in the tutorial track, we gave the participants introduction to ROS to the navigation stack to move the robots autonomously. We talked about the image pipeline that they can work on QR code detection or some principal victim detection capabilities. And uh, we gave them also introduction to the uh, Hector Slam algorithm. Uh, then in different hands-on hands -on sec uh, sections, the participants tried to work um, with the software and develop <coughs> some solutions for different tasks. In the tutorial uh, task, we gave them the, 
the exercise to develop <coughs> some robot that can explore autonomously some unknown environment. In this case, our software department where we held the workshop in the common uh, rescue framework task, uh, we tried to design new modules for the software framework. Basically, we worked on autonomous navigation and the more complex, um, um, uh, more, um, more capabilities of perceptions. So we, had diff uh, we worked on different hardware platforms, but I think most of the work in the, in the advanced track was done inside the simulation because it's much easier to, to work there. Okay, uh, in track one we had, um, we had groups of three to four people that worked on different types of robots. Uh, in track two, um, the, the most um, participants were PhD students and um, we made a little um, uh, creative session on ge to generate uh, ideas what we can work on. And uh, the individual topic we um, work, uh, worked on was path planning, uh, elevation mapping based on the 3D representation Octomap, and some kind of direct classification. So, um, okay. So we had uh, 50 participants, including the six speakers we invited. So from all over the world. One of the group photo. Okay, in, in the results of track one was, um, uh, we had uh, two groups that were able to develop a robot that can autonomously explore the whole department using the already existing packages. This is for one, one week. It was half day of work is not that bad result. And um, one group uh, worked on the Husky robot. Um, this was the first time the robot um, were in use with the ROS packages. And um, our other group worked on a hand handheld mapping device, it's uh, similar like the mapping box we have seen in one video at the beginning of this week. In track 2 we worked a lot of concepts and we tried to prove these concepts with some example implementation. This was more like a hackathon and um, we got some results in elevation and uh, high clearance mapping. So all groups worked on the Octomap representation of the environment. And as you can see here, we have here the representation of an arena. And then they generate out um, a cost map that depends on the height of the different elements in the arena. <coughs> Other two groups um, worked on representing additional data inside, inside the 3D environment. So um, if you see a surface, you can add additional information like color, the temperature, uh, probably some magnetic um, um, information if you can measure them. And you can use this information to do some uh, kind of direct classification. Or probably you can use it for do a more precise victim detection or to find some points of interest inside your environment. The third group worked on a, a sense of coverage. And in this, uh, they also used the 3D representation of the map um, to, um, to look at the environment, which sensor has already seen the different points of the arena. This can be helpful if you have different kind of sensors on the robot and um, to, to see if, if you, um, when, when you have covered the whole arena um, and to look at specific points there. 
Um, so, um, but I think this um, three weeks ago, this was not the last uh, workshop of, the, of this kind. Uh, we plan to co-locate the next um, RoboCup Rescue Standard Software Workshop together with the SSRR conference in 2013 in Sweden. Probably the next topic would be the perception and acting in 3D environments because we think that um, now in 2D, so the whole uh, path planning and the whole victim representation, uh, where the position of the victim is done in 2D, but uh, the next step should be to do all of this in the 3D, in 3D environments and represent it in 3D information, in 3D, yeah. Then, um, yeah. So for further information, you can look at our website. It's www.didosa.eu. There you find the link to the summer school. We have uploaded our, all of our photos of the workshop to the, our Facebook website. Yeah, okay. Are there any questions? Okay, well, thank you, Johannes. As I'm finding organising one of these things isn't hard, so it's really great you organised this all as well in um, in um, in Graz. So look forward to the to the next event in um, co-located with SSR.